Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Alright, so plenty of good things happening in the game. There's a new update right now, but I think all of us should save. I honestly think that you guys should save as well because the collab is coming, or at least the announcement is coming later this month. So here's what we're gonna do, or at least what I'm going to do and my advice to you guys as well, right? So in the event, let's first thing, let's first look at what's happening in the event, right? There's plenty of things right now, all right? So uh, this one is something that we have last week. So everyone will be able to get this girl for free. So this is going to be Elpis. You are getting just straight up, you log into the game, you're getting check-in to obtain the giveaway costume. So get your first copy of Elpis just like that. So she joined your team, easy easy now she is going to be extremely good now you can see to get multiple copies and plus five her you need to do tower of wrath all right up to three times and then tower of jealousy up to three times and then bring lps into battle 10 times this one is easy just use her anywhere in pvp or whatsoever just sweep 10 times very very easy alongside with that therese is here as well all right do the pickup draw i already have a therese at plus one so you can see 20 tickets easy right and then dalvi Ooh, I already got Dalby for, for 20 tickets. Easy as well. So just like that, I'm getting 40 tickets by doing nothing. I'm spending nothing just like that. Free 40 tickets just like that handed out to you for free. Some of you guys might have plus 5 them. For your case, you're going to get 100 tickets, all right? So, um, yo, this game is insane, man. Like, how are they making money with this uh, cash ticket back <laughs> event going on? It's just... Also, there's plenty of gold, uh, gold boosting mission as well. Uh, the amount of gold that you use, you get back 100k. So you use 200k, you get back 100k. Very, very good. If you guys want to upgrade gears, now is the time. Upgrade your equipments. So let's just first start off with doing the... Ooh, that's too much. That's too much. That's a little bit too much, you know? Let's just do the the free ticket. Free pulls for now. Plenty of, um, plenty of things to do. So I'm going to show you guys the tower... Oh shoot, can you guys hear that? There's someone racing outside my house! Who is racing? Wait, what? You are Li Zian, Li Zian gear. Okay, you are. Okay, not bad. Come on, give me a free one. Okay, nothing here whatsoever, alright? It's fine, it's fine. Boom, boom, boom. So if any of you guys are new and you are thinking to play this game right now, Brown Dust 2 is the best game to play right now. Alright, so... um. Like, as in, like, it's the best time to start Brown Dust 2 right now because of just this free character that you get for free. Uh, the truth is, supporters are going to be very important. I oh, yeah. Liberation as well. So let's talk about what she has in her liberation. Because everyone should be able to get her to plus 5 easily. So you can see, oh, they even added this knockback as well. Okay, so plus 5... This is what you get at plus 5. Everyone should be able to do this. Just do the quest. I'm going to show you guys the tower stuff. We're going to check it out together. But first things first. Magic attack 70%. Increase for 6 turns. Crit rate 35% for 6 turns. That is insane. Alright, what do you do if you potentially liberate her? 80%. Okay, that's it. So she's going to go from 70% to 80%. I was hoping for more crit rate, but hey. That's a bit too greedy. Uh, I don't think they should design it that way because there are some players that actually pull for Helena, which is a 5-star equivalent of a magic supporter, magic buffer. So I, I don't want like her to power creep Helena. She's a 4-star, right? So I think uh, it, it's pretty balanced, all right? It's pretty balanced. Uh, potential liberation is this thing here where you can basically use all of these uh, points to increase the character further. And then when at the end, you get the 10% increase. All right, that is pretty cool. She has one particular point. Wait. Wait is she a... Okay, uh, you know what? Let's let's power her up first. Let's power her up. And I'll be right back, alright? So I'm just going to do this on my own. I'll be right back and show you guys the gears and everything. And the last one. Boom. So that is going to be it. So here's the truth about character like Elpis, alright? Gears doesn't matter for supporter. That's the good thing about supporters, right? It's so beginner friendly. Can give her you don't have to give her UR. That's the beauty of her being a supporter or any supporter in general. Their gears do not matter. So ideally, of course, if you can, you want to make them as tanky as you can. But the truth is, 
you can put whatever. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna put whatever this is, and then I'm gonna put this SR thing. Uh, let's see what else can I find. I have this helmet thing. Uh, this is what I'm gonna give her because, like I said, gears doesn't matter for her. Uh, I just want her to have, you know, the best thing. Obviously, this wouldn't make sense. But do I even have anything good? Okay, magic attack. Uh, yeah, let's just let just put that for now. All right. Why did the combat power go down? What the heck? Okay, anyways, uh, Alpis. So the truth is, we are trying to... Um, we need to get more copies of her. Alright, so this is going to be easy. So let's just go into the tower thing and then see uh, what can we do. Let me just claim everything. Speaking of which, uh, I did mention this in the previous video. If you guys have finished chapter 7, if you guys haven't finished chapter 7, alright, please try to play a little bit until chapter 7. Once you beat chapter 7, you get Therese for free right here. Boom. Wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, my bad. So, uh, we teleported too far away, too far away. No, 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 back. Back one. Okay. I still have the Therese right here. So this is something that a lot of veteran players can do, or even new players. If you just want to get one, uh, 10 free tickets, so you can recruit Therese right here, alright? And then talk to her and ETC, recruit her. So once you recruit her, you are immediately going to get back that. Uh, assuming you have this thing, right? So this thing, I know not everybody has this thing laying around, but it is a very good opportunity to just use this, right? And then you can basically get back 10 tickets uh, for trying to use the kids. Oh yeah, I remember in the story now. I want to stop them so they never do this. Uh-huh. The church has decided to look at the kids. Okay, I'm worried. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Willing to fight for the future. Okay. So it's so good that she has a... Uh, what is that? She actually has a L2D. So I, I actually, I am very, very grateful that the developers are not ignoring the units, right? So some games, when you play them, only the new units will receive the L2D. The old units, they don't give a damn. But in this game, I'm glad like some of these old units, they are still updating them, give them L2D. I do appreciate that actually. Uh, when you play games like this, you definitely feel appreciated as a player. And I, I like that, right? Personally, that's just that's just my preference. There's a lot of brown dust haters out there that's going to say, who cares? But I care. I care because I play this game. All right, let's go. Stay at an inn. Attempt the Tower of Wrath. You know what? Let's do the stay at an inn. Let's do the stay at an inn. We're going to do this. We're going to go in. Uh, relax. All right, we just sleep here. Look at the chibi kawaii. Chibi kawaii. Do this, boom. All right, so we get that easily. So now I need to go and um, use LPs in the tower as well. So we're going to get this for now. So tower of wrath three times, tower of jealousy three times. So let's go. Let's explore the tower and see what this is all about. Did I just... Ah, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. My bad. It's, it's like a reflex thing. Uh, I'm so used to clicking it on okay, Evil Castle. So, what is this Tower of Wrath and Tower of Jealousy about? If you guys missed the update, right? Uh, so, if, for those of you who missed it, one of it is going to be... I'm clicking, I'm clicking. Uh, okay. So, one of it is going to be a physical base tower. One of it is going to be a magical base tower. Now, which one is it? Right, so now this is the new interface. Battle info. Immune to physical damage. So this one you got to use magic. Okay. Alright, very interesting. And then there's one more. Jealousy. Immune to magic damage. So I think most people can do the second one easily, right? But I think the... Um, let's see. Magical team. Now if you have Dalvi, the ref is going to be easy. But let's just do this one first. Alright, immune to physical damage. Uh, damage. That means we gotta use magic team. So let's settle the the tower of wrath first. We're gonna we're gonna craft a team. For those of you who don't know, a lot of people have been asking me. So what you want to do is you press this, and then you can see there's this symbol right here. Click on that. This is how you basically change your TB characters. So the characters that you move on the field versus your character that you use in battle. You can basically change your character in battle, uh, of course, using the, the stuff. But I think a lot of people have been asking me how to change. All right, let me build a magic team real quick. So this is what I came up with. Obviously, oh, my bad, my bad. I clicked on something. <laughs> Obviously, I have uh, Alpis alongside with Shirazad, Lucretia, uh, Maria and of course Cynthia, right? Obviously, this is uh, as free to play as it gets. 
this is not going to be like a full guide uh i hope uh you know i'm just going to be able to showcase what we can do you don't need to be uh that strong you just got to beat up to chapter third floor and then once you're at third floor you will be able to uh, try to beat so these monsters they are all immune they are, they are quite easy right magic resist wait increase magic resist by 50 percent so that's going to be annoying so obviously you always want to use supporter first lps first and then see what we can do we can go with maria in the middle that was that will cost 3 ko or you can go cynthia first which doesn't really cost ko but actually this is deceiving i think cynthia can basically cost ko uh and then we can go maria afterwards and then we can go with these afterwards if they are still alive and then Shirazad can go to the middle so let's try oh no my Maria is in the wrong slot okay what is happening ooh that is painful that is painful alright again this should be easy for a lot of new players they have designed it in a very uh, easy manner Oh, you get back torch. Alright, make sure you guys do it and you are getting back torch which can be used to basically farm uh, those magic crystals thing that you're gonna need for your characters. Okay, this is going to be an interesting tile. Can you knock this back, I wonder? Can this guy be knocked back? Immune to physical damage. So you can knock them back, which is something that I usually like to do because... The truth is, if you have Celia, this is going to be so good. But I don't want to use like a... Like too strong of a character. Uh, we're going to go with this. Hmm. Alright, we're going to knock back first. Knock back, do that. Knock back, then we're going to hit in the tree tile. And then hopefully he dies. If he doesn't, we do have Shiraza just in case. So it is, it is built in a very annoying manner, okay. They usually don't die straight away because of how the OT works. Ow. Oof, LPs can tank fortunately. Fortunately, uh, there's that. Okay, we're just gonna go with this. Okay, uh, so far it's so good. So I think third floor uh, so, i hope so you guys will be able to do it so the objective is to reach floor number three so that you guys can get more copies of lps so remember my lps is not yet maximized oh this is going to be interesting so i can do this and then i can go maria in the middle and then shirazad is the problem with Shiraza is she's a front character. Uh, yeah, they are all front character. So I'll just do this first. Huh. I don't want to waste my SP too much. Because everything costs points. Cynthia is strong, but she's not a burst damage. She's more like a DOT, right? You can see this enemy that got hit right here. Can you see? He dies from DOT. So she's strong, but you know, she's definitely a DOT based character rather than. Okay, so we go here. So let's. Oh. One shot, one shot. Okay. So we got one more copy of LPs. So again. Uh, objective is just do up to three rounds for the time being, right? And I hope you guys can do it. The gears, I don't have anything crazy on my character actually. In fact, I can show you guys like my Cynthia. Like, look at this. These are all our gears. So I hope new players uh, will be able to do this as well. So with that, you basically get easily. Oh, we get two extra copy. A ten tower of ref one time, three times, just like that. So this is plus one, this is plus two. So let's do the Tower of Jealousy. Should be easy, right? 
So we're just gonna set up a different team all together for physical all together now. Now physical team, obviously this is going to be way easier, right? Because like I think physical team is just more beginner friendly overall. All right. So let's double check again. Immune to magic. All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah. The truth is like if you guys are struggling, uh. As a new player, I always encourage players to build physical first because Erinus is pretty much free and she is a 3 star. So there's that. So I did obtain, uh, what's the name? Rafina recently as well. So this should be quite easy. So my Rafina is only plus 1, I believe. Or is it plus 2? But she can, you know, her AoE is huge, right? So again, if you don't have Rafina, you know you can swap in with who you have. Leatrice is very strong as well. Consider her as an option. You can get her pretty much free once you finish a uh, chapter. What chapter is it that you get her for free? I like that they change the tile accordingly. Uh, which is very, very good. Very, very, very good. So we're gonna go Rafina for that. Believe it or not, Rafina was the first character that I... Reroll for in this game. Now, if you guys have just there as well, going to be very easy. The truth is, there are more physical characters in the game than magical characters. Five star magical characters: Austin, Celia, Eclipse, Dalvi. Yeah, if you have those characters, for sure, for sure, no problem whatsoever. Uh, let me. Uh, this is going to be annoying. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna go and knock you back. Ooh, I like how hers is the... Hers is this. And then there's a tree tile. And then we do that. I fortunately have all of... Um, all of Rafina's costume, so this is going to be easy for me. You can use Letris as well, like I said, right? Letris will be able to hit this easily. Wait, that's a robot? That's the first time I saw that. Alright, so just like that, we get more copies. I believe you can see just like that, I'm able to get one more LPs. Plus 3, plus 4. And then I just gotta do more battles, you know, bring more LPs into, into battle. Obviously, I didn't use her in the uh, physical tower because she's a magic buffer. But make sure you guys do that, you can cons any any you know any battle counts so just do it 10 times and then get this plus 5 costume for free this is your chance don't miss it all right lps will be here for two weeks all right so with that being said that's going to be it for this particular video i hope you guys enjoyed this uh make sure you guys subscribe give this video a like and i'll have more guys definitely in the next video i will be testing out lps all right when test her out in a team and see how viable is she in a magic team, you know, like a somewhat meta one. Maybe we'll wait for the Finn Hunter or something, right? So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Turn on the notifications. Give this video a like. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.